go there. <laughs> it's being close. So, uh, we are going to talk about on well, about uh, the new starting guide they made for Final Fantasy XIV. You know, uh, yeah, the thing they made. Uh, I don't know how to expect, but I hope they actually do something nice. Because I don't want them to actually tell new players how to play their game, because that was a ever. And, and then I'm going to show my experience when I started the game, because it's something you need to know, because it wasn't a great experience, to be honest. It was uh, kind of weird. So let's ask the intro. Oh, that's a hit piece, actually. And I know it is. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV Online. I'm Mayra, a scholar and one of millions of players adventuring through the ever-expanding yeah. world of Eorzea. In this series, I'll be oh. introducing you to some early tips to help you get the most out of your adventure. Okay. From character creation and basic game mechanics to dungeons, boss battles, and more. And right. it just so happens I've got a friend Do eager to start his to adventure today as well. <laughs> Let's recruit him, shall we? I don't have to actually do this because many people won't actually do this. I actually only did it because once with a friend because she told me that it would be better for her and for me. But not everyone will do it, so don't actually expect everyone to hit their recruiter from campaign button. Oh, <laughs> all right. Thanks for the invite, Mayra. Hi there, Kaz. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV Online. Ah, oh, yes. I keep hearing about it, and I had to try it for myself. <sighs> You're the pro, though, so, you know, what, uh, what am I getting into? You've come to the right scholar. Let me show you. Whoa. Final Fantasy XIV Online is the critically oh. acclaimed online RPG <laughs> where you embark on the journey of a lifetime and reforge the fate of Eorzea. Though it is the 14th Maybe entry the in the name. Final Fantasy series, it has a self-contained story. It's not the actual 14th entry. It's not like there's uh, 14 games and this is the 14 games. There are more. <laughs> Trust me, I play after the years of the four. I played uh, Rachel Sarverius, I played Chris's Core, I played so many fucking things. And even 11 is the second MRPP, so. <laughs> and, there's, and there's so many games. It's the 14th main title. Story with its unique universe and lore. So, if this is your first Final Fantasy, welcome! This is the perfect place to start! The best part is, it's constantly expanding. Mm -hmm. So whether you're playing solo at your own pace through the main storyline, or you join other players to explore this world together, yes. you'll always find a new, exciting adventure waiting for you! <sighs> Basically, it's a heck of a lot of fun! Oh, let's do it! Hey, it's here, so let's him. Well, you could go now, but if you spare a few minutes with me, I can offer some useful tips to make your adventure even better. And help me become the adventurer of my dreams? No. <laughs> yes, please. Good choice. Uh, okay. Let's go with the next one. Mm, okay. up. Oh, love those ears. Oh, oh Makote, huh? You bet. Now to pick my class. I love the look of the gladiator. It's just a shame I'll never learn how to be an archer. Well, that's the beauty of Final Fantasy XIV Online. Your oh. character can actually play every class. This is something true. It's the one of the beauty of the Final Fantasy XIV. You can actually play every single class, including crafting and, and gathering. And we still play well to level them up all to level 90 now. <laughs> Which is better because I used to play Guild Wars 2 and I had to actually do some shit. Like for example, uh, I only had 6, I think 7 slots for 9 classes, different classes, and it was a nightmare. Like, uh, I used to be a lot of PvP and, and now it's like, no, you have to you have to have another, everyone bought on my guild back in the day. Uh, a slot for Renegade because it was a new class and and you have to have it because the PvP is something we really big. You need to know it's going to be a monster or not because we used to create a really monsters in PvP and Raid. So we actually were uh, kind of 
know yet, but because we have to always buy a slot for everything. We were thinking if they make another expansion with another class, they're going to swipe our money. Because you have to have almost every single chapter in every class. Uh, so, uh, you can play every single class, yeah. Class in the game. Classes are split into three roles. Tanks, Tank? who hold the enemy's attention and soak I up mean, their tanks. attacks. There are damage dealing, or DPS classes, who take down enemies as quickly as possible. And healers, who, well, heal the party. You choose your starting class now, but once you reach level 10, you can unlock and change to other... Level 10. Level 10 of your final end of your first uh, job class, which means you, ha you have to do the job quest and actually do it and finish it. You cannot change just because you got it to level 10. This is something they need to... This is an, a thing they need to actually check out. Other classes whenever you like. Also, your character's gender, race, patron deity, or date of birth won't limit any major aspects of your gameplay. And you'll even have but the option to change your appearance later in change. the game. So don't worry too much and just create a character that you like. Huh, that is amazing. I'm gonna start as an archer. No, arcanist. Uh, no, lancer. Ah, an enemy. Uh, gladiator sounds great. Oh, can't wait to try the others later. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, yeah, no big deal. Got 12 XP. You can earn much more experience while enjoying the story. Let uh, me show you how it's done. If you want to succeed, learn to read the map. To play Fewer story? random enemies, more main scenario quests, or MSQs. These are the quests you follow to experience the main story. By completing them, you'll earn some fantastic rewards and level up much faster. You'll also have the option to follow loads of side quests. These won't impact your main story, but they will help you explore the world. This impact, you're, you're kidding me, right? You, 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 this is a joke. They actually impact some of them. You, to be honest, uh, some of the... Uh, even the job quests impact in some dialogues in the story. Like, for example, if you have right mage in the locker, it's going to be in an important... Uh, in a big uh, scenario, they're going to actually acknowledge that you are a white mage. If you are a healer, in absent the point of strong blood, the dialogue change. I mean it's important and you do Eureka, which is another blue thingy, if you do Eureka, they actually change after the dialogue in in fucking Ngoka. So fuck off. They are so much because they actually can change your experience. In the end of the Invoca it's a must to have uh, some of them because oh my god uh, <laughs> There's a cutscene which deflects how many of these blue thingies have you done that are big, for example, raids, for example, alliance, for example, whatever. They matter. So please don't say, oh no, they will help you, but they don't matter. They actually matter a lot. And you have a friend who actually has a OCD to actually do every single side quest. Like every single side quest. And sometimes some side quests are really nice because you actually can get things that you didn't thought. So don't ignore them and earn gill experience and other rewards oh i'd love to check out my first msq great then let's get you to the adventurers guild uh. that's mamodi see the meteor icon above her head that's how you know you should talk to her for your msq objective which will be updated in your main scenario guide as you progress here on the uh. upper left Keep a lookout for those icons, as well as other quest types. And you can always access your journal to keep track of the quests you have accepted and That's completed. That's really, really interesting. Good. Right. MSQ. Earn great XP. Got it. Max. Uh, yeah, but this is something I must say. What she did is actually tell him, No, go do the story if you want to level up, Vesta. Yeah, it's true, but you don't have to force someone to do that because someone actually did that to me when I was talking and I got I get really mad at this. It's get me really nervous. I was forced to to rush to rush, actually rush, uh from the um, after from the shadow of the patches of uh and heaven's world to shadow bringers I have to actually rush. Like fucking go fast because uh how would you say it? Uh my old my first girl, uh, some of the leaders, said uh, because I was really slow with the pace, 
and they actually said um we don't you won't do any shit if you don't are if you are not in level 80 and you're not finishing the story so please refrain from actually uh, doing uh asking for uh doing things for the guild or asking if they help for the guild because you need to finish and once you finish you might have some time we have make some time for you to to play uh, and I was like, okay, what the fuck? I want to try things and to be honest, I got mad because for them, you have to do MSQ as quick as possible to be the max level, and then you can spin in the game. That's not true. You actually have to spin the game on your face if you don't want to do the MSQ because I mean you're crying your hearts out because uh, after the ball you don't want to do shit. I just want you to roll it and I don't know, go or make be a dark knight just to make your own storyline. Do that. If you want to, to spend like fifteen hour fifteen minutes uh just crying, do that. <laughs> if if you want to actually go cry, cry. If you actually want to go to Golden Sauce or spend like three hours there uh, being a fucking maniac uh, with the casino triple three hours, do that. No one's going to actually say you something. I didn't say you. So you have my legit permit to tell them to fuck off. This is your game. They don't pay your sub. And if they don't pay your sub, they can't tell how to speed in the game from the beginning till the, till the end. What they, what they can actually tell you is uh, if they be, even if they don't pay your sub, of course, you things don't understand me. You have to be a dick about it. Please don't go telling someone, ah, you have to do this this way, not that way, because that way is awful. Um, no, someone can't spin this. I mean, the, I actually miss Hildebrand. Like, I had to do rush so hard, I couldn't do Hildebrand until I finished and I quit that guild. And when I quit the guild, I actually did Hildebrand. And I only miss that because I would like to have done it with the storyline in question. Level, here I come! <coughs> the map. Oh, uh, follow the map. That thing is pretty useful. Yeah, the map is pretty useful, but I still get mad, lost. Uh, huh. Hey, Kaz. How are your main scenario quests coming along? Great. Completed a few, gained a few levels. No big deal. Um, but I was wondering about that thing under my main scenario quest. Oh, under your MSQ? That's your class quest. When you join a class's guild, you'll get special quests featuring unique storylines, which will help you earn some awesome abilities and gear. Eorzea has guilds for each class, and you can hmm. unlock other classes by visiting the guilds in each of the That's three what it starting says. cities after reaching level That's what 10. It said. If you want to become a master of different classes, you have to finish your quest at level 10. See what each has to offer. For now, let's take a look at your gladiator class quest. Bullshit! It's if fucking bullshit. It's the worst. You can always reference your main scenario guide. I Whenever hate the gladiators. Oh my god. Quest, they will show up here under your next I MSQ. Hate them so much. So be sure to keep an eye out. Even talk about that. It's a nightmare. If you want him to actually start the game. Oh, case. right, the Gladiators Guild. Now these are my kind of fighters. Let me I will talk to the leader push. to see how to complete my class quest. Looks like Mila wants to test you. Ready to slay some monsters? He can I do it alone. Was born ready. If you go with him in a party, okay. you're going to first, actually do your shit. Objectives in your you're journal. going to make an admin and he's going to buy. That's the first thing you need to know. All set? Then let's show him what you've got. You don't need to go be as, as a babysitter to him, You please. did it! Now we can go back to Mila to complete your quest. Huh? What's that? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, that player's participating in a full active time event. Oh, oh, right. Okay. So what is that? A party. Full active time events or fates are dynamic battles that appear around Eorzea. They can be boss battles, escort missions, or other events. Let me tell you something about this. 
When I play Guild Wars 2, Guild Wars 2, they also have these kind of things. But this is something I didn't, didn't know. Between Guild Wars 2 and Final Fantasy XIV, Guild Wars 2 actually impacts in the in the in the place. Like if they actually are in nearby an right they will actually uh, block the right if you don't complete the fate properly or when it's the fate on to make sure that it's for example it's seized and you cannot use it. Uh, there are so many types of uh, um, fates. There's also so many types of of kind of fates in, in Guild Wars Two, and it, that's the reason I started to play because I used to play uh, in the close beta end of this until I saw I have to pay monthly, and I was like, "Fuck off! I don't have money. I'm, I'm fucking poor." I was just a kid, so when I went to the shop, uh, I saw there was a selling uh, Guild Wars Two at ten euros. I was ah. <laughs> I'm going to try this because it's an MMO, and then so they also have a pay system, which also also have a system that uh, of uh, if you take care of the community of pop part, you actually get cards, which is really nice. And well, <laughs> the pay systems are great to level up, but at the beginning you're going to you're not going to use it to be honest. Thanks help you earn some great rewards. These aren't tied to the main scenario, but are fun optional content that you'll encounter out in the open world. That's optional content too. You can gauge it's, the fate yeah. level here. The and actually, left, they're really nice. Progress. Because Any some of them give you some, join a fate, some rewards. And higher level players need Except to temporarily me. sink their level Except to the fate things. to join. This fate is at a perfect level for you though, so if you want to join, simply enter the fate radius on that's your me, That's me, that's me, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> I am that guy. Let's <laughs> Ooh, better sink my level so I can help him out. Yeah, that's me. You have to level sink. You can attack, you know. You're not a fucking hero for. Oh yes, healing. Nice. You can also attack. You got a gold medal for your contribution and earned a lot of experience. Pretty good for your first time. You'll come across loads of fates as you progress through your MSQs in the open world. So keep a lookout for other exciting challenges. Oh, another one. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, that one's level 20. Oh, yikes. I'll just go ahead and get a resurrection ready. I regret this. <laughs> Let him be, to be honest. And let him know what KOs. I mean, there's always way to go to the city. <laughs> uh, he's still wearing that thing. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, just taking a nap. Uh, let's check your inventory. Hey. First things first, let's get you organized. Just hey, don't be a fucking rude. It's fucking rude. It's rude. Hey, you know how you can actually. Sort it your own way. The next, yeah, I sort because I'm awful at organizing. But I see people that organize properly in their own ways. So fuck off. Secondly, don't go and criticize him because he hasn't worn change the clothes. Just tell him politely, you know. Ugh, he's a change. <laughs> nice and tidy. Whoa, wait. I have a bird? You've got a wayward hatchling minion. Just select him and you can have a chocobo chick of your very own to accompany you. Sweet! Oh, I'm gonna name him Harold. How does that sound, Harold? You seem like a good team. I would die for him. Let's bring up your character menu and take a look at the gear in your armory chest. If you're not sure what to equip, click Recommended That's Gear really to good. automatically equip your best items. Oh, okay. Let's see. Recommended Gear and... Oh, wow. Yeah, not ideal. Here, I've got a better idea. See how you could beat this outfit, but uh, okay. <laughs> Let's find better gear, and while we're at it, teach you how to win. Uh, I'm a level 15. I think I know a thing or two about winning. Then that's the perfect level to begin the Hall of the Novice. Let me be honest, you can only unlock it by story, and I got it up with my ARR uh, gunplay to level 50, 25. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not logic, you see. And actually, Welcome some people to the actually skip it. Of the novice. 
Here you can learn the ropes for your class and earn some awesome gear. You can find a Hall of the Novice NPC located in the Adventurer's Guild for your starting city. Just look for the green and gold sapling symbol above their head after you reach level 15. There are unique challenges and rewards in the Hall of the Novice for all three roles, Tank, DPS, and Healer. So if you change classes later, don't forget to come back for some training. You ready to give one a shot? No. Cue the music. <laughs> all right, let's see what this is all about. Uh, seriously? One enemy? <laughs> oh, easy peasy. Ow! Oh, I get it. Avoid those. There you go. Ready for a few more? Okay, let's do this. We'll also practice engaging multiple mm. targets using a ranged attack and using combo attacks. This isn't good for any of you, but if you're curious to the final you're fucking exercise. Keep it up. Only one enemy left. No, well, I don't see anything like the others. Uh... Just remember what you've learned. This is for you, Harold! <laughs> <laughs> Harold! <laughs> oh, hi, Harold! <laughs> oh my god! You finish, hey! This ring helps me gain XP faster. Nice work! Now let's check out your brand new gear. You told the half fucking Now you look more like a warrior of light. Yeah! There's still a lot to learn and discover, and we've got a ways to go to get you there. Ah! <laughs> I, uh, meant to do that. It's a fucking nanny to him. I hate that. Two, three, four, uh, uh, 999, uh, 1000. Mm, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, we're just buffing up to prepare for some pretty major MSQs. Well, seems like you've made a lot of progress in the story through your main scenario quests. Now, how about we take what you've learned at Hall of the Novice and try out your first dungeon? Oh, love that. All right, Harold, you are my everything. Well, that warms my heart. <laughs> Let's head over to the dungeon entrance. Sasha. Now, to tackle a dungeon, we'll need four adventurers. But look, I'm a lone wolf, all right? I fly solo. Trust me, learning to be a team player in Final Fantasy XIV will be well worth it. Just use what? the duty finder to begin automatically searching for a party. <coughs> but if you're someone that really likes to go solo and begin solo for the first time, um, well, there's also the, uh, the support. So, yeah, don't go telling him, no, no, you have to go with duty finder because uh, that's the best way to be a real game player. If the dude doesn't want to go, wasn't want to go to the support, please let him. Because I know people, I saw, I know someone when I was back in the day in, in fucking in uh, showing guns when they come, they trust, they criticize me, on my old guild that uh, I shouldn't because they were slower than doing uh, this fucking dungeon normally. And it wasn't even, yeah. So, please. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> you have to do it with friends. Uh, Select duty. What if here, I don't want then to? Duty I want to do solo. To the task. <laughs> this is your first time, so you have the dungeon Sestasha unlocked. Let's select it and wait until a party is ready to join. As you progress, yeah, more minutes. dungeons will become available. It's like ready to be explored by a hotshot party of adventurers. You can use your duty finder to play with your friends or to form a party with available players like we are now. Or try the duty support system to play with Not. a group of NPCs. Each party member brings important skills from their role. There are damage dealing or DPS classes mm -hmm. who take Get down enemies as quickly as possible. There are tanks like you who are built to take as much damage as you throw at them while keeping enemies away from their party. Yeah. And the healers who support the party by keeping everyone alive and kicking. Time to shine! Oh. I think it was her. Now it's really in the chat. Hey, skip the cutscene, skip the cutscene. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's tell this new York. I did in I know what I know in, in NA. They let me actually watch the cutscene while in Europe they don't it looks actually. Like we have a black mage and a dragoon joining as our DPS players. 
And they're going to go eat Remember, bath at you. Kaz, as a tank, your job is to divert the enemy's attention and soak up their attacks. That way the healer, yours truly, can hang back and keep everyone alive while our dragoon and black mage use their But she doesn't even DPS to do some serious damage. It's only healing. Each what of the you fuck? Has an important role during combat. So remember to work together. She's not even attacking. All right, Cash, show them how it's done. Uh, you sure about this? You got it. Provoke it to draw ah. attention away from us. Okay, you got it. Okay, it was a she needs to talk about the tank stands. Oh my god. Really? Enemy reinforcements. They are too bad to watch it fuck. We take them down. No, you have to use tank stands. No tears is too old. But seriously. Oh, it worked! What the fuck? It's so wrong. How do you play this boss? Is that you fucking rushing like a fucking uh, punch bag? And then the melee DPS is the one that gets the shot because why the fuck do you need the, the, to attack the, the minion? My god. And you're well not even attacking, you're fucking killing. That's why it didn't that Any came. loot found in treasure coffers will be added to the loot list on the bottom right. Each character will yeah, roll the fucking dunk stands you haven't told us. And the loot will be distributed automatically to the player who rolls the highest number. If the loot's designated for your class, you can roll need. Greed can be rolled if the loot isn't designated for your class, but you want a chance to receive it anyway. Or you can pass if you don't want the item. Let's see what your party's earned. Oh, cool. Whoa, you're in luck. Since the loot's designated for your class, you can roll need to claim them. Looks like someone isn't such a lone wolf after all. Turns out life is a lot easier when you're part of a pack. <laughs> Up top, Harold! <laughs> Poor Harold! Alright, now it's, uh, I think it's the trial. Oh my god, it's trial. It's the last one, right? Oof, you're a little well done, huh? We may have rushed into a trial a bit too quickly, but we're about to try again. It's fine. Wow, taking on bosses with a group already? Well, luckily, I have plenty of advice for just such an occasion. Oh, don't worry. We've got a plan. You, uh, you mind opening up that portal thing you're always opening? Oh, very exciting. We take on effort in the Bowl of Embers. Me, the White Mage, the Ninja, and the Summoner. We rushed in last time, but now we know what to do. How do you go there, Stans? Oh my god. Just like the dungeons, each of us has an important role to play. As the tank, I hold Ifrit's attention to soak up as much damage as I can while our DPS members chip away at his health, building up the limit break to deal a final blow. That way, the White Mage can stay out of harm's way and keep us alive. Last time, we thought Ifrit was our main target, but we realized the infernal nail he spawns is our key to victory. Oh, smart thinking. Trials yeah. vary greatly, each with their own... To be honest, I was thinking you were going to say, No, you have to actually go with the face. You are fucking dumb. Sorry, there's someone some, uh, something that actually happened once to me when I was uh, doing roulette and I appears with new people. And one of the other people was a mentor actually say, You are fucking dumb, you have to go to the news, you fucking nukes. And I was like, Dude, I'm going to fucking report you with this. Like, dude, people need to learn the mechanics in their own way. They're going to learn by hitting and dying. Because that's the big way to not forget. That's how I remember fucking Omega 12. <laughs> how to remember how to fucking evade uh, Omega 12. So much. Uh, fucking dying. Twice. Three days. Ten times. Oh my god. Now I, now I have a grave in my heart. And my soul. And my, and my panic. Oh my god. Mechanics which require a keen eye. Oh, do you have to learn on then, the way? I hold his attention while the team avoids his new area of effect attacks. Dodging AOEs? Very impressive. Oh, very impressive. You couldn't tell you. Over the you course did, of the battle, you. the shared limit break gauge for the party has been filling up. We didn't notice it last time, but now we're ready. Once the limit break gauge is filled, it's the perfect time for our melee DPS, the ninja, yeah, to use their LB and take the boss yes. down with the ultimate attack. It's good, they actually notice. 
but spy on the Archon without you telling them how to do or what to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some adventuring to do. And now Hungrid goes say, I'm sorry. Looks like your exploits have drawn some attention, and you've been invited to join a grand company of your choice. Either the Immortal Flames mm -hmm. in Alda, mm -hmm. the Twin Adders in Gridania, or the Maelstrom in Linsalaminsa. Grand companies are a great way to further customize your character. Unlocking unique gear, special items, and even the ability to ride mounts. On that note, you might want to check out that special quest. Chocobo mount, here I come. Oh yeah, my little Chocobo. I've never been more proud. And look, your first mount. Yep, meet Gerald. He's Harold's new big brother. Say hi, Gerald. He's on your plane. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <Black> suit, Harold. <laughs> so, what's living in an egg like? <laughs> so that's one. It's the sixth one. The end of the beginning. Tank has hit level 30 and already unlocked his first job? Come on, Mayra, don't cry. You promised. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. That's well, it only it's gets better you. from here. Here coming. Whoa, how do I get one? Will you bring a friend? The same way I did. By recruiting your friends. Really? Okay, that sounds a fucking part of it to scheme, girl. That's a fucking part of it scheme. Okay, Gaz, now you don't cry. You've come so far. You created a character and started your path Dude, on the MSC. She's actually making a part of it scheme. Battled in fates <laughs> and earned like, fantastic loot. Now do you want these? I guess. Oh, get finder. to your friends. So and I get your. Started. What the, the fuck? The whole world of Final Fantasy XIV Online is still ahead of you. You could continue your adventure as a paladin, or unlock the other classes for a completely different approach to the game. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's chocobo racing and mini games at the Gold Saucer. You can learn to craft your own yeah. weapons, potions, and armor as a disciple of the hand. Oh, and you haven't even seen much of the world yet, like or Kos. And then you get what the fuck you're spoiling him. Shut up! You're worse than me, girl. You're even worse than me. Fuck off. Get to join the of the and fight the old and and la and the. <laughs> what the fuck, girl? Why are you just spoiling him? Story, the lore. Oh, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it is. You're really spoiling him. Oh, for... Speaking of which. <gasps> yes, please. Okay, just one quick ride. I'll be right back, you two. Eh, don't worry. They'll snap out of it soon enough. Hold on tight. Woo! <laughs> so, when am I going to get to Heaven's Ward? <laughs> One step at a time, big guy. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to recruit a friend. And I saw there's a side quest where I have to deliver cookies. Are those cookies up for grabs? Or what? That's it. Right? And they haven't talked about many things. Fuck. talk about this for a bit. I fucking talk about this. Uh, alright. Yeah, I'm not even going to put this in the video. So, what we learned is that, uh, this is kind of weird, I mean, uh, first of all, he's doing a tank, and they haven't talked, oh, you have talked about provoke, yeah, but you haven't fucking talked about tank stance, which is something really important. And something they actually need to talk because people don't know about Tanksa. And I've been in several times in many quest lines. I was even, in, no, you can see it in, in a relate of stream of mine. There was a tank that they didn't know how they they had to use these tanks, and we died for the person from Titan. So yeah, and he has gone to Titan without Tanksa, so that's important. You know, you know. Uh, it's really important to actually get this out. So I'm going to talk about my my story about being in starting in front of a different team. 
Now, you heard I, I had a toxic child back in the day. Yeah, it was pretty much toxic. And I didn't know that until I got my nerves out. I started, I played for a year with them. Less than a year. And then I said, oh my god. I can't. It was a New Year's resolution. I want to say, dude, do I have to actually uh, spend time with people that degrade you and only think of you as someone that could do the mechanics, but they won't actually care for you. They actually only do favoritism and they fuck you off because they actually read your MS MSQ storyline and experience. Because I'm going to tell you this. My fucking my first experience of Penance 14 was kind of bad. I only I didn't even get to Titan. I or I didn't get even get to effect the first time I played. Then after getting uh, bored of Gilbert's too because I, I I became like a fucking how do you say I was bored. So I started playing back the set. But then it's so fucking back for the start. It's a nice match really with because it's a fucking farm simulator. Not, not, not in the like way of Stardew Valley, but in the way that you have to do always the thunking and it's a nightmare. And I was like, oh, what? And, and I hate playing this way. So I went on and I actually went with, uh, what did I say? The Final Fantasy 14, because I remember I really like Final Fantasy. My favorite one is Final Fantasy 4. I, a fucking sim, for Galvez. <laughs> Because I, I, I really like his storyline, I really like, and Cecil, so they were my favorites back in the day. Colbert received so much love, and after that, yes, you should know, you should know. If you play after that, yes, you're going to get wild love about this right now. But, back to the topic. So, I started playing, because a friend of mine told me, that uh, it wasn't in English, uh, since I'm good with English, I should play. Okay, I play. I fucking went nuts because I didn't have. A, I used to play PlayStation 3. Yeah, PlayStation 3. So I went here and played my heart out and actually started to listen and hear the things. And I went along with the story. Guess what? <laughs> I was really happy because uh, I started alone. I was a solo player. That's something I do in emails. So that's the thing. Like for example, uh, yeah, I'm going to play some music because I need to. Uh, for example, when I started, it was uh, kind of didn't know what to do. I started as Narcha. Then uh, I went and I was a bullshit player and I didn't know what to do. So when I was looking at the times for the uh, for the dungeons, I got mad because half an hour to wait for a dungeon. Like uh, when you stop playing, it's a nightmare. You actually want to go and do it and finish. So I didn't know what to do. So when I got to level forty-one, I met Houtifan. Yeah, yeah, Houtifan. Ah, ah, poor, poor Houtifan. Rest in my baby, my love. So, uh. I actually uh, didn't know what to do, so I read on Reddit that uh, killers had less time. So what he did was stupid. <laughs> As I regret it to the day. I bought the level jump to jump the level six to level sixty my what mage. I bought it. Yeah. I went to get money and do that. And that way I would don't have to worry about fucking level up things. Now I'm regretting it to be honest. <laughs> because I wasted money that I could actually spend it on a mod. <laughs> no. Um so I went along and started into health the world, okay? So a friend of mine actually looked for uh I was back in Shiva. So yeah, Shiva, I don't know. So a friend of mine wanted to play and he got to Shiva. So, I didn't know about uh, server travel, which is something they actually should have talked about in the video because it's something that many new people don't understand. Server travel, uh, it's really good because if you're in the same data center before the travel, it was the best only way to see your friends if they are in another server. I had my chat in Zodiac, my friend made it in Shiba. I was a stupid and made a server transfer to Shiba. Yeah, I spent money to Shiba. I fucked off. 
Then I went along and decided to go to uh, Chaos to to Moogle. But of course, I didn't want to pay another travel, so I made a new chapter, which was uh, Batu. Batu uh, was made thanks to Paul. I met Black in the Twitter, a um, friend of mine, now dear friend of mine. Actually, I sent she wanted an Arashaila for her to play with uh, her because uh, with her uh, Aura Ren. So we went as a ship. <laughs> she was simping my Aura so hard. So because I knew she was new in the game and I was already in Heaven's World, so I already started to get the hang of it. I went ahead to have friends in game, so I went looking for a guild. So that's when I met my first guild. First of all, they forced me to make my main character go to Funko. Not suggest me. It was fucking every day. Hey, when you're going to get your chapter, your main chapter here, yeah, because you know, you're an adult in this chapter, and you perhaps also would like to have your main chapter here so you can do content and not do it there. Because uh, I, was wondering, I was thinking of making me being in a guild here and a guild here, and they went, no, you cannot be in two guilds at the same time because it's awful. Because uh, we are having you here and it's awful. and we want you to play with us so I went and spent money to another transfer to Moogle when I got to Heaven's World, I was on Heaven's World, right? I finished already uh, Thorland I was happy but the thing was a bit sweet because you know, the ending of Heaven's World <sighs> let me tell you a story they actually forced me to actually uh, rush uh, all Heaven's World Patches and forced me to uh, rush all Stormblood. I didn't enjoy it. I fucking hated it. Like, it was forced, and they actually uh, turned to me to a nightmare. And then I couldn't have any other currents, and they could map because I, I, I didn't have any other currents. And when they wanted to do maps, which was uh, storm, uh, showing us maps, when I joined. I didn't have the death recordings in, in Shadowbringers because I was already starting to do them in Heaven's World because I don't know, fuck, I need them all to actually level up all the classes. Well, they didn't like the idea. I did actually hit the idea of me leveling up every single other class than Wade Mage. Then later, I started to fucking make jokes against me about my Wade Mage skills because I was a noob and didn't know how to do actually things of Wade Mage. I didn't know his rotations, I didn't know about uh, how to actually uh, weave. I didn't know Stitch. I was starting the game. But they went along and started to degrade me and tell me I was uh, bullshit because uh, the only way I could hear when, heal when I was in my party was medical too. Because, uh, you know, I was starting, I didn't know shit. And when I in a panic, I usually go with AoE healing instead of fucking focusing on what I have to do because the first time. And I then never did good content. So yeah. And it got me mad. Really mad. Because it was constant rating in, in the voice chat. And I have to endure it because my friend was looking fine there. But in reality only what I have because uh, she was a good artist. Better than me. It's actually one of the best artists I know. And he actually only were nice to her because they wanted to be art for her which was awful and and to be honest i got really mad one day and new year's eve i started to to think about it because uh they want they knew i had uh i have misophony so the noise of the of the namasu walking the minion namasu walking on the namasu walking it's awful to me. Like it's like, uh, no, makes me angry because I can't handle. I cannot handle it. And what did it? Oh, was uh, everyone has to go to the fucking Namatsu thing and do Namatsu mount and fucking stalk her because she hates Namatsu sound. Yeah. And when we have to do uh, trials in extreme or or savage and everything, they actually uh, 
talk about between them so uh, there will be only few places open so imagine that you are in a guild and you already have 7 out of 8 spots since you publish without telling anyone because you told your friends instead of telling everyone in the guild when you are supposed to be the leader and you have to be equal to everyone because you are half participants and sometimes when you have to decide between me and another I always choose another yeah and the one who actually had to go help my friend to get the mounts of a stream was me the one who actually had to went to help my friend was me yeah so I New Year's Eve I went like okay let me check. What they are doing for me? Doing content, but I can do content in another girl. Uh, have a nice community. No, they didn't have a nice community. Help with crafting. No, they didn't help me with crafting because uh, now you have to level up your own crafting. While the leader is always uh, asking for money and crafting from the everyone because, uh, you know, that's a little bit mad. I got really, really mad. Like, fucking mad. Nuts. Because they were really, really against me. And then when I say goodbye to that kill in the Discord, they actually uh, mocked me publicly. They actually mocked me in the Discord. I'm so friend. Um, it was a chain effect because they actually, uh, you know, there was a trans person in the guild. A friend of mine, well, not a friend of mine, but a friend of a friend of mine, actually misgender accident. And I wasn't really sure because their voice was a feminine and they were a male. What can they? So she thought he was uh, a girl, you know. And so every every time she actually accidentally uh, misgendered. Well, that was a reason to actually ban her for the guild. Instead of actually talking, they just went along and banned her. Dude, if you know that someone's been gendering and it's an accident because you're not just thinking by their voice as a girl, like I accidentally uh, even misgendered them. Now I actually go with the uh, neutral in Spanish, it's hard to do neutral. So it was a chain effect. Not only I, but many others started to go out to the front of the guild because that was just toxic. That was just a nightmare. I mean, accidentally misgender someone instead of talking and finding a way to make sure that they remember it's a boy they actually went and got angry and made a drama out of it and it was nice and then when i was uh, starting uh, we went to another kid and to be honest uh how to say i was really mad with him with my little girl because when I say goodbye, I just post them that the bullying they did to me, the bullying they did to me, in a way that's uh, friendly for them because I have dyslexia. Uh, I can't, I can't be a tongue because I have dyslexia. Really. And it was a nightmare. It was like, okay, why do I have to say me that? Well, every time I want you to fucking neglect when I talk, when I was talking. And uh, my fucking girlmates, uh, some of the leaders of the guild, actually saying in the chat, openly, uh, Oh, don't go with her, you might die because she's awful as tank. What the fuck do you know? You never play no, you never at me as a tank. That's the worst way to actually go in game. So please don't go challenge your people how to play a game, or you can or not kind of play some classes, because it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, I want to play tank. Even if I knew I have the, the right to play tank. I have the right to play healer. Even if you berate me saying I'm the worst healer ever. When I am not. Because I have I have been proven that many people have said that I'm a good healer. They just wanted me to bully me. And to be honest, now if they see this, fuck you. Because you kept harassing me. And if you don't want to admit you are harassing people, that's the worst thing for a leader. Because you were say this, this guild was saying that about uh, they wanted to be better than the old guild that was having problems with harassment. 
but no one speak up and when I went to speak up when I was saying goodbye I was saying okay I have this like for example they were saying oh you have to tell us before that you weren't happy with this I told you a fucking 15 times that's why you get out because you actually ignore your lipids of guilt that's why people are getting out of your guilt like actually people are getting out of your guilt why? because you actually were shit That's why you actually need to, to check the niggas and please, if you're stand in a game, in this game and you're not having fun with your guild, this is my best thing to say, get out of the guild, just, just get out of the guild. I know in a guild which has not many people, it's, it's, it's a big guild, technically, but uh, we do whatever we want to each other. It's not like you have to do things content with us, they ask you to only you are betraying us because you have your own static and not helping us, the leaders, to have the things of the statics because, without being a static because that has also happened to your friend with that previous girl I told you. He actually hurts a friend because he was a streamer. He's a historian. It's really nice. And he had harassed by them uh, because they, he wasn't promoting the girl. Well, what the fuck? It's not my job to promote the girl. And what the fuck is that I can do, I want to do my content with my my static. And you got mad because I couldn't be there when the times you want you to do the static things for the guild. Like really, this is something you need to know. In a guild, if you are going to do uh, content, for example, savage or for example, uh, trials, don't only think about yourself, think about the other members. Because not everyone has the same free time. For example, I didn't have free time. My, uh, my, in my home, my home is toxic. So please. Be nice. And to be honest, if you don't feel really nice, uh, you feel that your guilt is actually to make your experience worse, get out. Or tell him to fuck off. Because, oh my god. I was a kid back then. I wasn't brave enough. Now every time I got angry, I just when I feel the guilt isn't for me, I get out. Which to be honest, there are so many nice skills, so <laughs> check them out. And I usually help some people from all, all guilds, even if they are in the in the guild side. Because I mean there's like people in bad guilds. But because of that you don't have to stay in a guild, but you can stay be friends. And if someone else is starting to threaten you to actually do the content they want you to do instead uh, and, and not pay or not, and not play the way you want, fuck them. Fuck. Fuck off. No. You, you cannot tell someone how to play the game. You cannot berate someone the way they play a class because they are starting. People want to start, you cannot go, you're fucking up as a monk. No. You can tell, hey, are you doing pushes not? And if they ask whatever for she's not you can explain. Okay, look at this skill. What does it say on the flank? So it's explain it this way. That's a good way to explain things. No. What the fuck you stupid mate? You are just not know what the fucking persistence are. Fuck off. You're fucking nightmare. You shouldn't play playing the goon because you're awful. Why don't you play I don't know? Fucking black mage. Oh no wait, you have to move to know how to move because you don't know how to move. But that's something I, I, I heard. It's a, a, a kind way to say, please don't go fucking with people with the way they want to play. To be honest, it's, it's getting on my nerves whenever I see this. So if someone wants to play again this way, let them play whatever they want. That's it. <laughs> it's almost an hour. <laughs> I fucking uh, hate me some. Uh, so, that's the thing. Uh, that's my story about when I started. And to be honest, please don't tell people to write this storyline just because it's really nice. Let them play their own pace because, for example, I didn't know about brand until I got to my second kill. And they actually let me do my time to play Hildebrand. And actually got me through Hildebrand. Instead of, oh no, you have to open this MSQ and I have all the uh, recordings and I'll, we, you have to do maps. Just fuck off whatever thing you want to do. Oh, you want to level up sooner? 
If you want to level up another class, we are going to take you out because you don't deserve to play any other class. Yeah, that happened. Actually, they threatened me to kick me out of the game because I wanted to try a summoner while I was uh, doing Stormblood because I got I just fucking bored of with me. And this is it's because you're doing everything real slow, you can't. I want to fucking be a scholar. What the fuck? I want to try a scholar because. I saw someone play scholar and thought it was fine. And perhaps it's better than playing with mage, I thought. No, don't fucking tell me that you have to you will kick me out if I try to level up my fucking scholar before finishing uh I mean storyline. I mean quest storyline, I mean I mean scenario is not a priority. It's a way to finish the story, but it's not a priority. Like really. <laughs> so, thanks you for coming and have a nice day and uh, check my Twitter if you want to see my streams because I'm going to be playing in Walker with Lulets and I'm starting to play ARF since the beginning while talking about many topics, for example D&D &D and other things so have a nice day and see you soon <laughs> and thanks for coming